All right, I want to invite the children to come forward. Miss Diane has your story. And adults, get your offerings ready for Christian education when they are done and bringing the baskets up. Come on down. All right, good morning. How many of you are out of school and summer vacation? Yay! How about, are there any visitors from out of town? Any, anybody visiting from out of town or out of state? No? Well, this is a time of year we get visitors, and, and it's fun to visit new places, and it's also fun to get visitors and get visited. But um, hopefully this summer you can have some really fun things that you can do and some good places you can go, and maybe you can visit some animals, like at the animal park or at the zoo or the aquarium. And that's what these boys were doing. And hopefully you can see this. This is the National Zoo in um, Washington, D.C., and they are playing with Sophie the sea lion. And you can see that she's playing with them and she's interacting with them. And when they stop, and she's having a lot of fun playing with these boys, and they're having a lot of fun playing with her. In fact, one of the boys said, this is the best day of my whole life, because he was so happy that the sea lion was interacting with them. And sea lions are really smart animals. And there's a lot of sea lions that need help right now, but they're really nice animals. And see, it has to go up and get air because it breathes just like we do. And these boys were having a lot of fun here with Sophie the sea lion. Yeah, she was having fun that day, too. She looks like she enjoys them just as much as they enjoy her. Now, see how much fun that was? Now, what I want to show you is um, this other video. Now, this is the upper tank. It's the same place in the National Zoo. This is the upper part of it, and this is the same sea lion. This is Sophie. She, uh, evidently, she really likes kids. And she's playing with the girl, and I want you to watch. Watch her really carefully now. And she's going back and forth with this girl. She's playing with the girl. Re watch really carefully, because something's going to happen. Whoops. What happened? What happened? Did the girl fell, right? She fell, and what did the sea lion do? It, it was looking at her, right? And it's like, what's wrong? And I bet you if that glass wasn't there, it would have gone up to her and it would have tried to help her. And sometimes we play and we have fun and sometimes something happens, right? Maybe someone gets hurt. I don't think the girl was really hurt bad, but you know, sometimes things can happen when we play. What should we do? We should go help, right? I remember when I was at my aunt's house and I was playing on my skateboard and going down the sidewalk and all the kids were playing. I was about your age and then my skateboard is a wooden skateboard with carpeting. Well, it had green carpeting on top, but it didn't have green carpeting at that time. And I was on my belly on my skateboard and I was going down the sidewalk and her sidewalks were really sloped and they were smooth, so I liked it. But there was cracks and my skateboard hit the crack and I fell off and I hit my chin on the cement and it started bleeding and all the kids came around and I remember the, the neighbor girl, she was on a bike and she was near, 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 she was a siren and they all came and they came to help me and then they went and got the grown-ups and I was okay, I just had to get some stitches but I remember that day because all the kids were really helpful and they came up to me and you know, the Bible tells us to be it teaches us to be helpful and kind, right? And there's even commands in there that we can help the animals if they need help. If we see our neighbor, neighbor's animal and it's stuck or it, it, maybe it's lost and it needs help, there's actually a command in there that says that we should help it. We shouldn't just say, well, it's not mine and just go away. So this summer, hopefully you're all going to be safe and have a good time and play and have a lot of fun, right? 
And you can also be God's little eyes and God's little ears and God's little hands. And if you see somebody that needs help, or maybe you see animals that might need help, or even plants. Sometimes the plants, they come up rooted and they need to be put back or they need to be watered. And you can be God's little helpers, okay? All right, let's pray. Dear, dear God, thank you so much for all the wonderful people in this world that help us when we need help. And we thank you. We ask that you be with us and keep us safe this summer and help us to be your little helpers and to keep our eyes out for those that need help. Please bless this offering now to teach children more about you. We pray. Amen. Okay.